when I was asking the Lord, what do I share with your people? The Lord put in me a very simple but very deep message. Very, very simple but very, very deep message. In the book of Isaiah chapter 1, and today I, I recognize it's a women's day and I honor every woman in the house. Glory to God. And I honor every man in the house. Hallelujah. You know, if you don't honor these men, we will not be anointed. Hallelujah. And if you don't honor them and put them in their place, I would as mama for long glory to God. So can we give a hand clap to every man in this house? <laughs> there are pillars. Ata usome, ukwe na biashara, ata kama hauna kijana yako bado is a man. Hallelujah. Amen. So I honor God for every woman and every man. Today the Lord led me to share something very intimate. And uh, this is not a sermon for your neighbor. This is your own sermon. And at times I may go to Kiswahili because again I've just come from Milele. Na Milele mi huubiri na Kiswahili. Is that okay? The only one I'll try not to gravitate to is Kikuyu because Kamema I talk Kikuyu. So today I'll really be uh, Kiswahili hapo. And the Lord spoke to me about... What is eating a lot of people? You know, we all look smart. Everybody looks well and put together. But if the hearts of people were laid open, possibly what you see on the inside, outside, is not what you'd see on the inside. There are people who are seated here, man of God, and their hearts are deeply wounded. So deeply wounded. You've gone through an experience and you don't even know what to do with yourself because the wounds are so deep and there are times when you cannot be able to move from one dimension of your life to another because somebody wounded you. Some of these wounds may have been childhood wounds. One of the things you are learning in psychology is that a lot of the trauma that may have happened at this age, you see these beautiful girls, and somebody may just come and shout over at them, Keti chini, kutoka hapo achukie kanisa, tukopa moja. And I don't know who shouted what to your life. Somebody may have talked something and you stopped trusting. You may have loved a man, and you poured out your secrets, and that man left you for your friend. You may have invested in a mutual relationship. Mama tu kwa mama mwingine. Na pengine ukafungua moyo wako. Ama even a man to a fellow man. Na hizo zote ulizo zinena zika ndio broadcasting service of the day. Na kutoka hapo mwaya wako ukaumia na ukasema hakika. Sita wai fungulia mtu mwaya wangu. Na pako na watu ambao wako na machozi ya mwaya. Kwa sababu yale ya mepitia hawezi hata ukanena na mtu. Unaangalia watu na uliza huyo ya nacheka kwa nini. Mara ingine ukicheka ni mdomo tu. Lakini mwaya unalia. And today I believe the Lord has come to heal the wounds of somebody in this place. I believe today the Lord has come to make us whole. I know one thing, when you're whole, you can do exploits. Praise the name of Jesus. If so far you have been able to achieve, imagine when the Lord makes you whole. Glory to God. And that's the message the Lord gave me. I sit at a position as a counselor, of course, and I have met people who tell me, I met a lady, a, 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 son, a daughter of a bishop, and she told me, you know what, pastor? I can never enter a church. And I told her, I want you to come and talk to our singles because there are times you have our singles forum. And she told me, you know what? Digegeli yako go kanitha. Suezi nikakamgu yangu kwa kanisa. Nikamuliza na kwa nini na babako ni bishop. Aka niambia nimepitia A, 
B, C, D. She, got, she gave birth when she was young and not married. And the father felt like umeni aibisha. And she was rejected. Am I talking to somebody who has the wounds of rejection? Because there are people in their family you know have not been their favorite. And you treated yourself like you are not the favorite. Today I have come to affirm something new to you. You are God's favorite. Hallelujah. And she told me, you know what? I'm so wounded. When I see every pastor, I remember what my father and the elders told me as they told me out of the door. And as he told me how much I've embarrassed him. And as I looked at the entire congregation and I wondered, how will I face them? And she told me, she vowed she'll never enter a church. And I told her the church is not the issue. It is the wound in your heart. It is the wound that you retained. And I don't know what could be the pain in your heart. But today I know something. The great physician is here. Hallelujah. There is a song I love. It is called the great physician is the Lord. Hallelujah. The great physician. Najua. Don't sing. Hallelujah, glory to God. When I try to sing in church, they all laugh. Hallelujah, but I used to sing when I was small. Hallelujah, glory to God. But I'm a preacher, not a singer. I want us to read this scripture. I'm sure it was read. It's in the book of Isaiah. The Bible says, From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified or soothed with oil. I like this version. From the sole of your foot to the top of your head, there is no soundness. Only wounds and bruises and open sores. Pakona zingine zinatoa uza. Pengine mother in law alikukosea mpaka leo ukimuona unakumbuka unasikia nika hata moyo umekatika. Hallelujah. Today we have come to accept the great physician. Only wounds and bruises and open sores, not cleft or bandaged or soothed with oil. The anointing oil of God is here to touch everybody's heart. Hallelujah. Wherever he went, he did good. And this is your day. Today you may be wounded by your children. I was doing a study on why women after marriage are gravitating towards alcohol. And I'm talking about even women in church who want to take alcohol secretly. In my study, I discovered some of them have gone through so much disappointment and they run to the wrong direction. We can never go back to Egypt for help. Hallelujah. And others have gotten so disappointed that they have chosen to love no more. And according to the research, it was showing that more women are wounded after marriage than before marriage. And so many of them are carrying wounds that they can't talk about. And I asked so many, what is the cause of your wound? And number one cause of wounds was words that have been spoken by those whom they love. Glory to God. Words that have been spoken by those whom they love. I would like us to read Zechariah, then I can flow. Zechariah 13 and verse 6. And one shall say unto him, Zechariah 13 verse 6, What are these wounds in thine hands? Then he shall answer, Those which I was wounded in the house of my friends. Let's read together. I like reading the word of God with the congregation. One, two, three. If someone asks, one, two, three. If someone asks, what are these wounds on your body? They will answer, the wounds I was given in the house of my friends. Is there somebody who is saying, I understand that scripture? Do you know what? An enemy can never wound you. 
Because if an enemy came to wound you, you'd be ready. To go pamoja. If somebody you knew, who you to make sana, ata kikuja nataka vita, utakuwa mejitarisha. Ata kikuita neno kubwa, utasema ni hiyo tu. Ah, basi, meisha. But the pain that I'm talking about today is the pain that people have gotten in the house of their friends. This could be a parent. I know parents have lost patience. Children have misbehaved. And they've lost the grace and the patience and the kindness. And kind words are very few in our generation. Who will tell you a kind word? As a parent, when was the last time you called your children and you told them, I love you? And especially that one who looks like they're not doing too well. We want our children to aim at the societal level. Ili society iseme, watoto wake ni hawa. Na ilo wakati unaona pengine mtoto umoja amepa kuliko mwingine, mwenye akochini, yale maneno tunatumia wakati mwingine, inawaumiza, inawacha na vidonda, and the spirit of rejection. We cannot be equal, and we can never be equal. And many times, children have been wounded by parents because perhaps they're not performing too well in math. And you know, parents, when we reprimand children, we talk like we had everything 100%. Am I talking to a parent? Na sasa wanatoa, wametoa hakili wapi. Either niwewe, hallelujah. Unajua ni vizuri pia nasi tujite kamkutano. Ujiulize math, ni wakati gani ulipata 90%. Najua wazazi wote wanasema used to be number one. Ni kama hiyo class ilikuwa na number one of parents. Lakini ukweli, one child went to the grandmother's place. Kwa shosho. Na akapata a very old box. Kwa shosho. Akaenda akapata ni report forms za the dad. Akaona, oh, number one is this, number 20 out of 25. Akaangalia mat alikuwa na chapo. Akaangalia English, siari alikuwa na jaribu. Sa, it's true story. Sa, baba akakuja closing day. Toto alikuwa um, anajua meperform better than what the father used to do. So, aka, baba alipo muitisha na anamuambia kama umeanguka na kuchapa, the first thing alipia na report for mea baba. Abia daddy, hii ni yako. Sasa kulingara na hiyo, sasa hii ni yangu. Unaona ni mejaribu kukushinda. Are we together? We need to appreciate. Am I saying we don't push children to study or to become their best? No. We motivate them with love and understanding and kindness. Words of grace and words of kindness. And I want to speak to every parent in this house. The greatest reason children have gravitated towards drugs is because they have too much cortisol. It's a stress hormone. Stress imekuwa ju. But today, if you spoke to that child with love, the wounds will begin to heal. I talked about women and not the women in this place. Kwa hivyo mbaba usitoke hapo na mwambia, ebu, akikuja, ebu open your mouth, unanukia kai, inanuka pombe. Apana, hawa meokoka, glory to God, hallelujah. We are just educating ourselves, hallelujah. And a lot of women are sitting here wounded. Number one wound in the hearts of the women is the closest friend, the husband. Or the boyfriend who left you. But today we have come to let go, hallelujah. And Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor, and a heavy laden, and I'll do what? I will give you rest. Today, allow the rest of God to get into your heart. Let me tell you, church, every wounded man will also wound. Wounded people will wound. And that's why we don't have kindness in our generation. People are wounded from the political status down to the grassroots. They are wounds. What happens when a heart is wounded? Number one, 
It blocks love. It blocks love. Number two, it blocks people. And do you know the people at times we block, they could have been your destiny connectors. Many times you have blocked the people who are going to be a blessing to us. We have blocked divine opportunities because you are wounded and you look at somebody and you say, Ata huyo anataa kunitumia, anataa kuniumiza. Kama ni kazi uli mtendea mema, tenda mema nenda nini? Zako. Wait for the Lord to repay you. And many times you have missed out on opportunity because opportunity knocked at the door. Your heart was not ready. The first thing, we judge them according to our wounds. We judge them according to history. But the Bible says, behold, I do a new thing. Can't you perceive it? We need to allow God to do a new thing. So that when you worship him, you have the joy of the Lord. When you sing to him, you have the joy of the Lord. When you are walking, you are speaking songs, hymns, and spiritual songs. Hallelujah. One of the reasons why people are aging earlier than their time is because of the burdens that they have carried. For me, I feel so young, by the way. I'm only turning 56. Only. Yes, only. Only. Glory to God. Because you are as old as your, your, as your weight on the inside. There are children of 20 to 25. Who am taught what oki muangalia hivi mki hubiri jiwa kurudi kwa yesu yo wimbo inamuinua. Kwa sabu ya mechoka. For me I have learned a secret. I ran to the cross. Nimkimbili enani eh. Nimkimbili Yesu mokozi wangu. What happens when your heart is wounded? Utamkimbili enani? Nitamkimbili Yesu. What am I going to do? I will leave it there. But this is what happens. A lot of people walk into church, man of God, and. I, 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 want, I, I want a person I can use as an example, kindly. Who can I use as an example? Somebody, just a volunteer. I, uh, yes, Sister Lucy. I like teaching with, with AIDS. Now, assume who ni mzigo. Assume who ni mzigo wako. Umekuja na ingia na mpaka hapa. Toka pale tu. Umekuja kwa, kwa maombi. Na umekuja sasa kuomba, mungu wa kutole mzigo. Sinona amebeba mzigo, mikono yake haina nafasi. Anakuja, anaomba, alafu ya kitoka, anatoka na nini? Na mzigo. So tembea kama umeenda na mzigo, but utanipatia notebook. Sasa ameenda na nini? Na mzigo. Ni marangapi umekuja, umeomba, na umerudi na mzigo. Following time, unakuja, unaombea the same, same, same issue. Unakuja na mzigo kwa kanisa, unaomba, lakini ukitoka, unasema, he, 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 apana, wacha tuziachie mungu. Wachia yesu, atawale, atawale, atawale. Atawale tu mwachie yesu atawa mwachie yesu atawale bwana yesu asifiwe it gets to a point when you call for a meeting between you and yourself and you go to the altar of god or the place of prayer and you tell God, I've been wounded by my own family. My brothers and my sisters that I thought were going to support me. Women when I thought I needed them most. Am I talking to somebody? The people who I thought were going to give me counsel. Na nilikuwa na jua atanikipitia hini. How atas mama na mimi. Instead, ni wali nena kinyume chako. Siku ya lo tumekuja kuyacha. Hallelujah. So that your life can, you can run and not get weary. Mtu mwenye kona mzigo na vidonda. Sahi uki muambia kimbie, atashindwa na mbio. And that's why times we are lagging behind in our schedule with God. Why? Because there are times when God would want you to run. 
The Bible says them that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not get to hurry. They shall walk and not faint. And they shall, but remember, mount up with wings. Then you can run and not faint. Hallelujah. Kile kinafanya saingine tunalag behind. Saingine tunasema Jehovah. You don't answer my prayers. Kwa sabu anasema kwanza wewe pona. Uko emotional ICU. Pako na watu anatembea lakini wako spiritual ICU. Mtu wako ICU ata kiomba apewe shamba. Si atambu wa kwanza apone. And today we need to let go of everything that has held us down. Kutoka mwalimu wa primary. Niliona mtu wakiengea juu ya mwalimu wa math. Nikasema ishu siyo mwalimu wa math, ishu ni wewe. Kama kuchapo ilikuwa ishu, wengina wetu wa generation yetu tulikuwa na chapo na uh, mothers zina jichora. And atu wa baby, we are who we are because of that. Kwa ili ama siyo? Haujawasha viombo, kitu kidogo tu, unaona ile mbio mekuja nayo. You are going to wash dishes. Lakini ile mbio, kwanza unatitimuka. Lakini bado hiyo punishment utapata. And I thank God we are who we are. We are not bitter, but we are better. Life has a choice. You can choose, choose to be bitter. You can choose to be better. Which one do you choose today? Do you choose that that painful experience will leave you better? Or do you choose that that painful experience will leave you bitter? Some years ago, when my husband lost his job, and it was a friend, a very close friend, we were actually on our honeymoon, it was a very close friend, mwenye alimuendea, na imagine kwa honeymoon, E mwenye wa metumu wakuja kusama kazi yako imeisha. And you are thinking, so what next? And at a point I told him, you know what? This is one situation. It can make you bitter and you fail to trust a friend. But you can love this man. Na tutampenda. We'll place call upon his head. Yes, wilderness tulipitia. Lakini mungu wa metuinua. Na ye mwenye alichimba shimo, akanguke ye mwenye. Leave the revenge to God. Tukopa moja. And it was out of that we were able not to go and proceed on with our masters, our doctorates, and whatever else. We'd still have been where we were. When you allow God to take your situation and work it together for good, good comes out of that situation. In that pain, there is beauty. He gives us beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. He gives us beauty for ashes. Lakini lazma muambie Jehovah, nimeacha jivu. I want to be clothed with your glory. Hallelujah. I have a very big forum for the singles. We call them the beloved. And last year we had a very, was it a dinner? It was an afternoon. It was a Saturday meeting. And they are both single men and women, those who are divorced, those who are widowed, and the adults who have never been married. And as I was teaching, a man came from the door. We had been praying for healing. And he was carrying a very, very sharp machete, panga. And he let, it has been sharpened and sharpened and sharpened again. Akakuja heading directly towards the madabahu. Nikaambia Jehovah tuma malaika wako wanizingire. Kwa sababu hata wakushika huu these are very sharp anger. And he came and he bowed. And he told me, woman of God, I want to give you this panga. I asked him why. And he gave me a story. He gave everybody a story. And he said during the COVID, he was to go to China to bring in some goods. And on his way going to Ch China, they couldn't take a flight because of the restrictions. And so they were returned. So he came earlier than expected and at night. So when he went to his house, they have a house. Nazingine apaza rental. So when he went to his house, it was locked. 
He knocked and he discovered there were even no lights. So one of the people who have taken the rental house was his stroke, is I don't know, is a pastor. Katin Haikwe Mefungwa Kabisa. Akaangalia, alikuwa nataka kumuita amulize watu wangu walienda wapi. Kuangalia ndani ya kapata, bibi yake ndia na massage pasta. Can you imagine the pain? Can you imagine the pain? And this man was so wounded that from that small space he took photos. And he sent to all the families. They were happy and uh, more was going on. I won't elaborate what more he watched. They knew he's in China. And from that time, early in the morning, because he actually took a taxi and went to the nearest place he could now get a place to sleep. But by morning, you see, he had sent some photos. The lady had been called, and so the pastor disappeared. And when he came home, the wife had also disappeared with the pastor. And he looked for them. And he told me he bought that panga for one intention. Ile siku atapatana na pastor, atamkatakata. But that one day, as we were preaching and praying for wounds to heal, his heart was healed. And he went to the car. He said, here is a panga. I don't need to do anything. And we had another meeting like about three months later. He came. And he said he went to Mombasa. And when he went to Mombasa, what did he find? He met the pastor. What did you do? Wengine kwanza unatoa koti. Kweli ama siyo? Unasema Jehovah hii utaelewa. Hii hii ah baba. Hii utaelewa mi hai. Kiele moja anasema ati kitakuwa kieleweke. <laughs> Kitaeleweka kweli ama sio? But he did something different. Alimuita akampeleka hotel, akamwambia have your breakfast, it's on me wakakula. They didn't talk about the wife, neither the incident, kila mtu akatoka kaenda zake. And he told me, you know what, woman of God, I am completely healed. I have let go. If you could let go of that, what are you holding that is too much that Jesus can't help you? And immediately he let go. His business lifted to a new level. Immediately. He tells me he doesn't even know where they stay. He has never seen the wife since. And that is it. But he is free. Do you know, not every prison has walls. Zingine tunajitengeneze a prison. Your heart can be a prison without walls. You have locked yourself in with bitterness. You have locked yourself in with pain. And one of the results of bitterness, according to the book of Hebrews chapter 12, the Bible says one of the results of bitterness is that grace is disconnected from your life. When the grace of God is disconnected from your life, what else do you need? You begin to fail. When you are wounded, the nearest thing we know to do is to hate. Unajua sa ingine tukiwa kanisa tunaka, miata niko sawa. Lakini pako na dada hawezu kaketi karibu na ee. Unaona ameingia unatei mameketi pale na unaenda hii. Ama kwa estate. Na sana sana, you know amama tuko na, na, na tabia ingine hayeleweki. Utenda, kwanza ukijua mkona kutana na huyo mama mna kutana. Unaenda hata, hata unezo ukarachukua ka, ka dress kwa loan. Kwa hili ama siyo, umshtue. Ajua hata mimi niko. Na mungu ni nani, hiyo siku hata kuja. Unaba. Leave alone. <laughs> Unabaki ukilipa alone, unachukia nguo, inakukumbusha ye, inakukumbusha that incident. 
hata unahama estate atu alisema mimi ni broke you live beyond your means i want to prove a point never prove a point to anybody live according to god's level for your life part time hallelujah you know when you are not wounded you have nothing to prove but if there is something you are trying to prove to somebody atuacha ninunue gari nikinunua ule neighbor alisema sisi familia yetu haitawahi nunua gari nitapiti hapo pole 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 na Mungu anafunga hiyo loan na anabariki your neighbor anapitia mbele yako pole 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 unashindwa ukiambia Mungu na ni nini hii kai kwani haunipendi hata haunijali cuz god looks at the motives of our heart may every wounded heart find its healing today praise the name of jesus i can see my time is gone but i want to read a scripture the book, bible says in first john chapter 3 and verse 14 we know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren this is a first test that you are passed from death to life loving the brethren has he told us which brethren no including huyo there are men today who are still bitter with a lady mwenye alikukata na you are married what's your issue na angalia unasema lakini mimi ule nilikuwa roho yangu napenda forget about it are we together Eh hey, penda mwenye uko na yeye. Hata ukipitia hapo kwa una unaangalia especially unavanga kale kashatu najua ni ka occasions. Na bibi hajui. Namwambie bua hayo ni sababu mnapitia hapo mokoro ine. Na unajua kwa kulikuwa na bibi hata hajui. Hiyo siku naenda hata pole pole. Pole pole unachukua kauba kutoka pale mpaka pale ili utembee hivi ya kuone. Hata kuona. You are abiding in death. There are people who physically are walking but spiritually are abiding in death. In essence they remain in death. They are dead. When bitterness and wounds are not healed, they translate to hate. You hate a person, you hate what they represent. But unasema tu sisi hatu flow. Wacha na hizo maneno. Si ndika beef kadogo. Wachana na hizo maneno ni chuki. When was the last time? You know the first test, real test of forgiveness. He said for you are to kneel down and pray for them a blessing. Would you? Naambia Mungu lakini Jehova, wewe mgonge tu. Mgonge. Mgonge. The Bible says when you wish your, your neighbor bad, calamity itampita na itakuja kwako. The Bible says as I conclude whoever hates his brother is a what uh, watcha tusome pamoja go to the next verse anyone who hates his brother or sister is a uh, uh, turudie haijalishi hata kama ni yule landlady alikurushia vitu mbele ya watu Haijalishi kama ni yule landlord alikurushia vitu nje. Haijalishi kama ni mwenye alikuvuta kazi. Jehova kutoka mbinguni anamwambia baba nataka promotion. Anasema hapana. What is murderers? What are they supposed to get as a murderer? Murderer yake ni life in prison ama kifo. In fact, ya Mungu anasema you are bide in death. You are a murderer, you also dead. And you know we take it lightly and at times we forget that our breakthrough is held by this scripture. Unaambia breakthrough it has been held by this scripture. Yes, you are wounded. I agree. Yes, you have a reason to be bitter. I agree. Yes, they hurt you. I agree. But I also agree with you that Jesus says come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden i will give you rest the same one says love first uh, corinthians 
suffereth long. Love is patient. How patient are you with those people who are hurting you? Have you suffered long enough? Love is kind. What goodness have you done? Ukimpata ana chakula, utamnunulia unga. Love is kind. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. And it is not proud. Hallelujah. The Bible says he's a murderer and has eternal life abiding. Has, <laughs> that you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. I want to summarize by saying we are all waiting for the second return of Jesus. Who is not waiting for the trumpet to blow? It may find me here alive. And if I'm dead, I'll be resurrected first to meet with Christ in the air. But the Bible says, if you hate, that is the truth of the gospel. I want to conclude there. But I want to add this as I conclude. That the love of God is there ready and willing to be shared abroad in our hearts. And that when we surrender our all, naya natuponya. I want us to close our eyes. And I want you to search your heart. Are you here and you're saying, I've been so wounded. My heart is bleeding. Nimeachwa na mtoto. Baba ameenda. Nimekataliwa na in-laws. Moja aliniangushia biashara. Business partner alinidanganya. Or whatever the case could be. Are you here and you're saying, today I want us to pray. The Bible says, where two or three shall agree over a matter, it shall be done. I want us to have the prayer of agreement. Because at times forgiving alone Unajaribu, unajipato merudi pale. With our eyes closed, I want you to search your heart and tell God something over the person who hurt you. Today we are going to pray in agreement that the Lord may heal us. It's a special day for women. And I know today will be the day that they'll remember that that day I laid down my burdens. Uko hapa na pengini unasema ningetaka tukubaliane pamoja tuombe. Sita kuita hapa mbele. Inua tu mkono. Na pali ulipo tutaomba pamoja. Unasema niko, naona hizo mikono. Naona hizo mikono. Naona hizo mikono na mingi. Thank you for being honest with God. The reason for that is because there is power in agreement. I can see naona hizo mikono zote. Naziona hizo mikono. And I know indeed today for you who have lifted up your hands. I can see all those hands. And that's what I said with our eyes closed. I want everybody to start telling God, I let go and I surrender. I let go for everybody, yes. I let go and I surrender. Father, in Jesus' name, you can see and bear witness with all the hands that have been lifted up today. These are people who are saying they are so wounded. They do not know what to do. And mighty one of Israel, the pain in their hearts is beyond. And Jehovah, today they are crying out to you, the great physician. Touch them where it hurts. Touch them where, oh God, the pain is and heal them. Touch them, Jehovah. Touch them and heal them. Spirit of the living God, the precious oil of God, reach to that innermost part and heal them. Today, Jehovah, on their behalf in agreement, we say, we surrender to your spirit. We surrender to your will. We surrender to your hand. In the mighty name of Jesus, do a new thing in Jesus' name. Still with our, thank you, you can put your hands down. And for all of you, I put your hands up. Believe God. You're here and perhaps you were born again and then you backslid. Ama tu kakosa nguvu ya safari. Ama haujawai yokoka. Na siku ya leo nasema nataka nianze safari yangu upia. Just lift up your hand. 
Siku yale unasema I want to rededicate myself to Jesus. Is there somebody who is saying today I want to surrender? Kindly lift up your hand properly. Yes, I can see that lady in blue. Is there somebody else who is saying I want to totally surrender to Jesus? Is is that hand lifted up at the back? Yes, I can see those two three hands. Somebody else who is saying I'd like to I can see that hand also my sister. Somebody else who is saying leo nataka kujiachilia kwa Yesu. Is there somebody else who in the three or the four of them who is saying today I want to totally let go and I want to completely rededicate. Church of God now na mkono wako pia mama. You may never know ile sababu Mungu amenileta siku ya leo. Hatuna appointment na kesho. Appointment yetu ni leo. And when the Lord visits he wants to do good. Tafadhali usiachilie. Unajua maisha yako hayajakamilika. Na sio we don't judge you. We love you. And God loves you. Jesus loves you. Tafadhali pali ulipo. If there's somebody else who wants to join them, lift up your hand. Tuombe pamoja. Yes, I, I can see I can see that that's the baby. Glory to God. Father in Jesus name. For all these people who have rededicated themselves to you, I pray Jehovah that you may give them the strength, renew them, revive them, strengthen them. Let this be the day of their testimony that indeed they have come to meet you at your altar. Every burden that they were carrying Jehovah I thank you because today they let go in Jesus name. And Father I pray for everybody under the voice under my voice. Jehovah nawaombea nguvu ya kushinda. Nguvu ya kuepuka majaribu. And I give you honor and worship because from today they are going to be stronger than pain, stronger than wounds. And all their wounds are healed in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you.